Hi, Pop-Tarts. Back for the Quarantine Read Aloud series, Halloween edition. Today, we are going to be reading Jerry Seinfeld's Halloween, illustrated by James Bennett. Hope you love it. When you're a kid, you can eat amazing amounts of food. All I ate when I was a kid was candy. Just candy, candy, candy. And the only really clear thought I had as a kid was get candy. Get candy, get candy, get candy, get candy. Family, friends, school. They were just obstacles in the way of getting more candy. So the first time you hear the concept of Halloween when you're a kid, your brain can't even process the idea. You're like, what is this? What did you say? Someone's giving out candy? Who's giving out candy? Everyone we know is just giving out candy? I'm going, I've got to be part of this. Take me with you. I'll do anything they want. I can wear that. I'll wear anything. I'll wear anything. I have to wear. I'll do anything I have to do to get the candy from those fools who are so stupidly giving it away. The first couple of years, I made my own costumes. Ghost, hobo, the worst. I knew my destiny was to one day get a real Superman Halloween costume from the store. You know the one. The cardboard box, the cellophane top, mask included in the set. Oh, baby! Remember the rubber band on the back of those masks? That was a quality item. Thinnest gray rubber in the world. It was good for about 10 seconds before it snapped out of that cheap little staple they put it in there with. You got, you got to the first house, trick or snap, it broke. I don't believe it. Wait up, I got to fix it. You guys, wait up. Kids don't want other kids to wait. They want them to wait up. Would you wait up? Because when you're little, your whole life is up. You want to grow up. Everything is up. Wait up. Hold up. Shut up. Mom, I'll clean up. Just let me stay up. When you're a parent, it's just the opposite. Everything is down. Just calm down. Slow down. Sit down. Come down here. Put that down. And keep it down in there. You're grounded. So, the day finally came. I finally convinced my parents to buy me an official Superman Halloween store costume. I was physically ready. I was mentally prepared. And I absolutely believed when I put this costume on that I would look exactly like Superman. I had come to know on television and in the movies. Unfortunately, these costumes are not exactly the super fit that you are hoping for. You look more like you're wearing Superman's pajamas. It's all loose and flowy. The neckline comes down to about your stomach. You got that flimsy little ribbon string in the back holding it all together. Plus, my mother makes me wear my winter coat over the costume anyway. I don't recall Superman wearing a jacket. I read every comic book. I do not remember him ever once flying with a coat on. Not like the one I had. Cheap, corduroy, phony fur. So you go out anyway, and the mask keeps breaking. The rubber band keeps getting shorter because you need to keep retying it. It's getting tighter and tighter on your face. Now, you can't even see. You're trying to breathe through that little hole that gets all sweaty. Whoosh, whoosh. The mask starts slicing into your eyeballs. I can't see. I can't breathe. But let's keep going. We got to get the candy. About a half an hour into trick-or-treating, you take the mask off. Oh, the heck with it. Bing bong. Yeah, it's me. Give me the candy. I'm Superman. 
Look at the red pant legs. Year after year, I never gave up on trick-or-treating, but I remember those last few Halloweens. I was getting a little too old for it. I was just kind of going through the motions. Bing bong, come on, lady, let's go. Halloween doorbell's candy. Let's pick it up in there. They come to the door. They always ask you the same stupid question. What are you supposed to be? I'm supposed to be done by now. You want to move it along with the three musketeers? I got 18 houses on this block, sweetheart. You hit the bag, we hit the road. That's the way it works. Halloween three-step program. Step one, see kid. Step two, give candy. Step three, good night. Sometimes people give you the little white bag twisted on top. You know that's going to be some crummy candy. No official Halloween markings on it. I don't think so. Wait a second. What's this? The orange marshmallow shaped like a big peanut? Do me a favor. You keep that one. We've got all the door stops we need already. Thank you very much. We're going for name candy only this year. At the end of Halloween, I was able to fill a punch bowl so full of candy that the top of it would be curved. It was like a planet. And I would consume the entire thing that night. Next morning, I'd wake up, feel fantastic. And that's when I realized when you're a kid, you don't need a costume. You are Superman. The end. And we'll see you next time. Happy Halloween.